What makes bald eagles particularly interesting for ecosystems and for habitat preservation is that they require a large area. So if we can maintain the eagles nesting in New Jersey, then we're going to be maintaining enough habitat for a lot of other species, and particularly rare species. We try to schedule our bandings at about six weeks. If they get much older, then we have a little bit more difficulty. They'll sometimes branch out. When I try to get them, they'll actually go out of the nest or out on a branch. And then we're, we can't get them anyway, so this is a good age for handling them. We're careful about selecting the nests that we do visit because coming into a nest is a disturbance. You can tell by the way the adults react. They're flying, circling, and calling, showing their distress. Eagles aren't terribly aggressive. They typically fly off the nest as we approach, and then they circle, just kind of watching what we're doing. We get on the limb over the top of the nest. You have to be over the rim of the nest enough that you can at least maneuver the birds into place, get them into the bag, and be able to handle them gently. And then once we get the bag up, the birds typically go to the far side of the nest, away from me. A lot of times these nests are so large that you can't reach the bird just with your arm. So we take that hook and we gently get behind their leg and then just gently pull them. We get the bird in close. The first thing I do is wrap the feet uh, so we control those talons. And uh, after that, I'll slip the hood over the bird. And once you put the hood over the bird, they calm right down. This is a technique that was discovered literally thousands of years ago, that the birds calm down tremendously. It's kind of analogous to an ostrich sticking its head in the sand. When they don't see around them, they, they uh, really lowers their stress level. So we take a blood sample from each eaglet. The blood is used to monitor contaminants and the exposure of eagles. We can test for heavy metals, for pesticides, even things like DDT we're still finding traces of because it's still in the environment. Then the next thing we did were several measurements. We measured the beak, we measured the eighth primary, which is one of the wing feathers, and that tells us roughly how old the bird is. The other measurements, especially the bill depth, and uh, the tarsus, or the leg width, and the hallux claw, which is like the big toe. And those measurements can be plugged into a formula and actually figure out whether it's a male or female. The final thing we did was we put metal leg bands on each bird. And these don't hurt the birds anyway. They're simply like permanent bracelets. They carry two numbers. The pure silver band is a federal band, which has a unique number that if that bird's found anywhere in North America uh, and reported to the national database, they can identify where that bird came from. The other band is a green band that has a unique number for New Jersey, and it has much larger numbers that hopefully we'll be able to read with a telescope. We don't go to very many nests. We go to 12 to 15 nests a year. This year, in, in 2009, we're tracking about 65 nesting pairs. With the eagle population and with any endangered species, it's important to know the survival rates, mortality rates, why they die, where they end up breeding compared to where they originated from. So that's particularly important with rare species.